What are the type of guys you prefer? Scammer, drug dealer, or nine to five? Drug dealer. I want him to move that way. Scammer, nine to five, drug dealer. Wow, that was quick. Oh, you had to plan out. <laughs> I tell the world I prefer a nine to five, but I really want a scammer in my heart. No funny shit. <laughs> like, I need a drug dealer and then a scammer, then fuck the nine to five. I want the scammer first, then the drug dealer, then the nine to five. Drug dealer. Drug dealer first? Yeah. They can take you out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, but Friday. But you just complain to the, the two. Only take you out on the weekend. Drug dealers. Yeah. No. Nine to five, nine to five, nine to five. Drug dealers. Scammer, number one. Scam, scam. But I'm thinking about like, you know what? <laughs> you want them to drip you out. You want, to, you want them to buy you. That's what's going on. Love to buy the girl stuff. So probably a scammer. As long as he don't get me messed up in his little works, he could do whatever he needs to do. As long as he giving me some bread, then he's good to go. Scammer, drug dealer. I need a nigga with money, so drug dealers first. Scammer. Uh huh. Nine to five, drug dealer. Okay, same order. Scammer, 9 to 5, drug dealer. Why can't 9 to 5 be first? Um, 9 to 5 is legal. Like, yo, listen, listen. Legal. listen, listen. That shit is stable, but like, I like a nigga who's fast on his feet. Like, you know how no, to get listen, to a fast. I'm jacking. I'm going to scammer. I'm going to scammer. I'm going to scammer. Because, like, I've been in a scammer at the top. And then, um, 9 to 5 second, and then drug dealer bottom. Three. Scammer, 3. Okay. Drug dealer two. Nine to five. Nine to five. Nine one. to five one. All my nine to five what? fellas, we They're are working. winning. All us nine to five, we're they winning right now. You are working. You are right. working. Back. Welcome back to Conversations with Me. I'm your host, Katrina Gibbs. Thank you for coming back. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. As you've seen in the beginning of the video. <laughs> I'm going to give these young ladies some bail. These type of people, they go out to concerts, the mall, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, they basically, like, have you pick. Um, No, 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 you got to pick, you got to pick. Please answer the question, you know, because they're creating content, right? So I'm just going to give them some bail and say, I'm not... Come everybody, because even in that video, some of them was like conflicted and wanted to say nine to five, right? And see, these are the kind of things that I'm saying social media, they're shaping young minds. And the reason I'm saying that is because you'll a young man will watch this and they'll say, see this boy, bitches only want you for your money. Yo, 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 yo. And don't have any experience going out, courting a lady, taking her out, a girl, whatever. Nah, I ain't even going to front. Some dude said, <laughs> I hate when niggas be, <laughs> I hate when niggas be like, all bitches want is money. Well, next time, just be one of them niggas. Like, <laughs> I ain't even going to front. That was funny. But like I said. I'm going uh, to give the lady some benefit, a benefit of the doubt and say that they were just cornered into this. But a lot of them wasn't. You know what I mean? So I'll say 50-50. The ones that was just like, give me a scammer. Give me a drug dealer. Give me a scammer. <laughs> uh, I don't think, and this is why I'm, this is, this is not cool. Now for all, Ever since I've been on a dating scene, I've always been accused of dating street niggas. And I've never dated a street nigga, ever. It's not appealing to me. Um, I think the reason I don't date street dudes is because my brothers were in that lifestyle. And, you know, they always just steered me away like, nah, you don't need no nigga like this. Nah, you know, get you straight, lay, square type of dude. So I always was like, you know, I listened to my brothers and I went that route. So, plus, like I said, street niggas beat bitches up. I'm so sorry. I ain't even gonna, I mean, I know y'all be like, oh, the regular 9 to 5 do too, but mm -mm, street niggas beat bitches up. So, <laughs> I, I, that was a complete turn off as well. So, but to have that, I always felt like, damn, what I, like, what do y'all think I am when, 
Like when everybody would just put that on me, like, nah, you only date, you only date drug dealer niggas. You only date niggas who got to have money. And it's like, damn, what, what am I giving off? Cause I damn sure don't date like that. You know what I mean? But for women who, um, who really go out and seek that, or at least these girls in this video, I don't think they know what that kind of life entails like at all. Okay. <sighs> He gonna have money. Okay, yay. Y'all gonna be able to go out and maybe purchase a few things here and there. It's not no big baller booming. We on the yacht. We on this. We on that. We cut it out. If you do it, you probably did it once. And that's that. Y'all not about to live these long stretches for eight and nine years. And I made it to the basketball wives and Oh, now I'm on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. You not getting that run out of it. It be two, three months tops. And then you, he on to another bitch or you on to another nigga. Like, stop acting like y'all just living it up forever and ever. Cause you're not. The other thing that, okay. So then you got, you have to worry about the other woman. Then you have to worry about the street shit coming around. Case in point. Look at Dirk in India. Dirk been a rapper for a very long time. <laughs> she was up in that house, had to give it back to whoever came in there. So you have to be prepared for something like that to happen. Now you could be riding around and getting it. You riding around and getting it. Because what if he, what if he's, uh, you know, got to go bust a few moves while you in the car? You don't know what kind of ambush this nigga can be riding into. On top of that, if he hot like that, he could be, listen, you think robbers care who in the car? They don't. They don't. Do you think the cops give a damn who in the car? They don't. And you better hope you got a solid enough nigga to say, that ain't your shit. <laughs> Cause your you, nigga just might throw it off on you. Like, uh, sir, no, that's not mine. Um, I work for her brother and. You know, he, he just might be ready to rat on you. So it ain't all this cute. I need a drag dealer scammer. I, it's not all that. We got to pump our brakes and understand that this ain't the life. That's another thing. Like, what are we doing in the world, ladies? Are we smart or are we, are we dumb? Who do these girls represent? Are they just girls? Are you just going to let them slide and say, hey, we young, we living, let us do what we do. We tearing our 20s up, we living it up. Because if we're just doing this for a few bags and a few uh, random pictures here and there and a bottle here and there, then what do we do when this nigga go to jail or go or die? Like, do we just skip along to the next nigga or do we, you know, put into ourselves and and create something for ourselves you know what do we do women i want you to share this because everybody acts like this is not them <laughs> the other thing in this thing um what you have to understand ladies is that uh once you're here, once you're here in this sector of drug dealer, scammer, I hope you know a lot of you guys don't make it out. You got to stay in that cycle of messing with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You got to still run that cycle forever, especially if you want to stay getting it this kind of way. You know how rare it is to hit the kingpin, nigga? Do you know how rare that I think bitches think they about to get up with Big Meech. Like, any day now, Big Meech gonna be out of jail. And we really gonna be, tch, I'm gonna shoot my shot. Like, what is these fantasies that we live in? Like, what are you gonna do when they run up in the house with the pistol in your face? Say, open up your mouth. And they blow your head off. And they blow the kid's head off. Because y'all didn't produce what they wanted. What do you do? 
See, it's all cute when it's all cute, but when it's not, what do we do then? Do we cry? Do we cry and say, oh, <laughs> Trudy, Trudy. <laughs> oh, she was just so, <laughs> she was a good girl. She was a good mom. And <laughs> do we cry or do we just say, hey, man, she was fucking with that drug dealer nigga and it was, they was living it up. Hey, it's time to stay time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. Like, what do we do? Hey, jump down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. I've told this story before on here. Had to do, not had to do. We was just really cool friends. He was really in them streets like that. Really getting to the paper like that. And he told me, nah, you got to play the back. You a real nice girl. So we just stayed, remained friends, and we was cool. And you know what I mean? We would talk here and there and there and here. And we kind of lost contact. We weren't keeping up with each other so much. Next thing I knew, the young man was killed execution style. Head blown off during doing a drug deal. Left kids, several girls behind. And it. It's fucked up, man. So, is it worth it? Them kids ain't got no dad no more. Sure you want the drug dealer? You sure you want the scammer? Conversations with me.